I think he's a worker. <laughs> Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We are in Clearwater. What? We have been following this vegan deli on Instagram for so long, and what they post tortures me regularly. It's literally called vegan deli. Yeah, and, well it's, like technically it's like Dundin, Dundin? I don't know how you say it. Um, and so, we are going to Tampa today, so we figured being in the area we would just stop by here first for like an early lunch doesn't open for like another 12 minutes um, but I'm happy we made it and we're gonna order on our phones and then like do contactless pickup see literally called vegan deli. <laughs> Look at the paddy wagon next to it. Yeah, Irish pub. Um, nice. But with the contactless pickup, we have to order online, I think. I don't know. Like, there's other stuff that we can, like, you can see there's, like, little chippies and things. I don't know. Do you want to order online? I think so. Okay. I didn't even know this, but we got chips. Oh! It's the same people that was at District of the Mills. That's so cool. Oh my god. These are what I'm pumped for. They're called McBuffins. They look like McMuffins. They look like McMuffins. Impossible. But impossible. Oh. oh, that looks so good. Take a bite, take a bite, take a bite. No, 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 no. Oh gosh. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I wasn't hungry really until just now. <laughs> the Sarah God. Ew, that's a big old sandwich. I've been literally dying for just like a sandwich. Like a deli Cubano. sandwich. Oh, look this at this. Cubano. This wrap job. Ooh. That looks so yummy. Mustard, mayo, Pickle. pickles, and provolone. Okay, okay. And then. And then. I got a barbecue jam Oh box. my gosh, it's got crackeroni in it, which is their macaroni and cheese mixed with barbecue. I don't know how to say it. Say. Say team. I can't even say ten. I can't even. Oh, I guess I can show you. This is gonna be messy to eat on the way. Ooh. Enjoy. Oh gosh. That was so good. Well, that was absolutely disgustingly filling and delicious. So yummy. I still have a bunch of stuff in my teeth. I still have half a sandwich left. Um, so good. I think the McBuffin was our favorite thing. I really like the Cubano. I really liked mine burrito. I just wish it was less massive. <laughs> Alrighty, let's, let's drive. Isn't that buddy Miles? Yeah, it was. Come say hi to my buddy Henry. Henry, want to say hi? Say hi. Hi. You getting the? You getting the? What is this? It's not. A, it's like a slip and slide. No, it's like a splash pad. Oh, it's like a splash pad. Should I put on my swimming chunks? So if you can't tell from this face and that face, this is uh my buddy Steve's kids. We're out in uh, Tampa after the water. Okay. When we go in and you show me the Nintendo Switch, you can play with the camera, okay? But we're gonna we're gonna run in there first, okay? So we're out in Tampa, hanging out with Steve and Leah and their kids, um, just kind of chilling. We we haven't made our way out here. We've been meaning to, so we're just kind of relaxing. And now we're gonna play with that. Okay, here. Can I teach you? Mm -hmm. There's some rules. You gotta have the the neck strap on, always, okay? Okay. Are you recording? 
Uh, yes. In the words of your father, we're gonna play some dope games. That's we're what happens to me from Brooklyn. We're gonna play some dope. Mario Kart? Or what? Baby Adrian, what do we got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Henry showed me all the good yeah. Nintendo you Switch. Know how to get, you know how to do this one. You have a lot of confidence in me. Do I'll, you know, I'll do my best. Do, do you know how to do this one? It's going to be a ghost. Okay. got three crabs. High five, we did it. And I think dinner might be here, but we gotta see. And we got the flower. We just beat all of this. Okay, I'll switch to one player now. Okay, a little bit of a rainy day. We were supposed to go swimming. We still look, might look, look, after dinner. Yes. Oh, we got 15 flowers. That's what we needed. Yes. Now we can get to that guy. Yes, we can. We got a little Greek for dinner, some falafel pita action and some Greek potatoes. Peter got it too. There's a look inside. Swimming? Uh -huh. yeah. Let's go. If that isn't a floor, that is almost a coastal sunset right there. That is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Look at this pool. I don't know if we showed it or not, but it's a very nice pool. Very beautiful. Steve, Leah, thank you. Oh, the sun's gone now. There it is. We could, if we wanted to, I don't want to because it's going to take too much time to drive to the beach to see the sunset, which we've never done before. That's almost a beach sunset. We're back from the pool. And Steve's hooking up with a nice cup of joe before we leave for the drive. Yeah. Not as only is he making me a nice cup of joe, he's giving me the Peter McKinnon style Kymax. 100%. Style. We, don't, we don't play around here. We don't. We got the water heating. Just a plain old cup of joe. So we got some counterculture uh, with cherry, apple, and uh, creamy. You got to say hashtag hosted. Counterculture pride of uh, Durham, North Carolina, where my wife is from. Delicious stuff. All right, we're going to. How many, how many grams are we doing? We're going uh, to go with 48 grams. Right here, okay. There we are. 48 grams. Perfect. All right, we're gonna. You want to keep the oxygen smell. out? Delicious. All right. You smell that? You smell oh. those accents? Okay. Then I got my uh, Barazza Virtuoso grinder. Hashtag ad. Hashtag ad. <laughs> we're gonna get that sucker in there. You, you, you uh, like you've done this before. Yeah, get it grind <laughs> over to uh, about 22, 23 oh is where I like it. it. Like, yeah, so you go, like, you know, espresso nice. all the way over to French press, kind of right at pour over is right around here. There we go. And then we pour her back in there. I like to uh, make a little a little dimple here. Now my my thermometer for my gooseneck kettle broke. So I kind of have to listen to it when it's done. What is this shoddy business we're running here? I know, I know. And this is the, this is the most important element of your coffee. The this? temperature of your water. Um, and the of, second and most important thing I have to carry out here is that you live in Florida yes. and you have gas. That's right, I have gas. I have, yeah, which is one of the nice perks of living here. Yeah. Yes, if you don't know, Floridians very rarely ever get gas yeah, appliance. It, it is nice. I do like that. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let this open up in a second as soon as that's ready. I think we're getting close. You don't want to get it too hot because then it's gonna take gonna some burn, of the flavor out. The grounds, right? That's the problem with your typical drip coffee. Is it burns it? Is it? It's too hot. You can't control the temperature. Uh, but yeah, and then I love this coffee. I feel smarter just. I sent this to you. You did? No, you sent me the yellow. It was yellow though. Yeah, I sent you. It was a citrusy one. Yeah, it was delicious. Love, so you just kind of want to wake it up a little bit. You know, you want to say how you doing, what's going <laughs> on, how's your life, how was your your trek all the way here from Guatemala, and there you see a little bit of that bubbling up in there, around the edge. And then after so that you, uh, sit. You just wanna, that's called the bloom. Ooh, I, you know what, I do recall that term. That is the Period. bloom. 30 seconds, a minute, let that just bloom. You don't wanna overload it with too much. Straight Brooklyn. Uh, that's right, yeah. Straight Brooklyn. <laughs> I, will, I mean, I, you know, paying four to five dollars a cup of coffee in Brooklyn or like making your own, 
yeah. for a fraction of the cost, you know, it adds up, right? You and it's a skill. It. Yeah. Like, this is a skill that I admire you for. Thank you. You've gone higher in my, in my... If you're gonna do it... Do it right. Yeah, if you're a connoisseur, so you see that bubbling up nice and fresh. Uh, I believe this was roasted uh, less than a week ago. So I think you're gonna like you're gonna like this. So we just swirl her around a little bit. You know, see some uh, nice bubbles going on in there. That looks beautiful. Do you even know what this is? I don't know if Sarah's gonna do it, but we need like a, a word thing to come across the bottom and it's gonna yeah. be my buddy Steve. Uh, Coffee cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I, in another life, man, that's what I would probably do is just open you up. You know what? How about when we retire, we'll do it together? Because I've always go. wanted to either become a bartender or a barista, and I never yeah. did either of those. You buy my favorite thing community, people, and some good coffee, man. That would be a big play. Steve. It's my romantic side. Look utterly exhausted to you, because it is. Um, I want to do justice to Steve and Leah and all their wonderful gifts. So we're going to show those tomorrow in the vlog. I'm going to do the daily message and sign off because Sarah fell asleep, Eve fell asleep. I am literally on the verge and I'm going to try to actually go to bed before I fall asleep on the couch until 4 in the morning. But I do want to show this sneak peek because it was the like the one thing that wasn't baby related. This is like a muscle obliterator. I won't turn it on now because it will freak out Eve. But this oscillates backwards and forwards and there's three different attachments. This is to like really work out some knots and um, release some of the toxins from your muscles after a long workout or run. So thank you so much for that, Steve. Um, let's do the message and hit the hay before I put on an episode of Somebody Feed Phil and fall asleep or stay up way too late. You can tell we had a tiring day because it's only 11.30. Um, today is Saturday, the 5th of September. B. A N A N A S. Um, the message but today is by Lucille Ball. It's a hell of a start being able to recognize what makes you happy. Right there, that says it all. It really does. Guys, James is going to be here so soon and I cannot wait. It's good to be home. Believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>